Now, installing a garage door might sound like a huge job, but builders have a wide range of roll-up garage doors that you can actually install yourself. So whether you're replacing an old, rusty, broken garage door like this one, or putting a door onto a new garage, there's a wide range of options perfect for you. And remember, if you need help, you can make use of the builder's installation service. So the first thing you need to do is measure up the opening that you want to install the door on, and select the correct size to cover the doorway. If you're unsure, you can chat to the guys at your local builders and they'll help you select the right size. This is what you'll need to install your door. Your selected roll-up door, and this comes with two side rails, two brackets, two U-bolts, and a handle. You'll need eight M8 expansion bolts, and eight M8 fender washers. Just remember it's very important not to cut the straps until the door is in place on top of the brackets. Tools you'll need, a hammer drill with a 14mm masonry bit, as well as a four and a 10mm steel bit, a 13mm spanner, file, straight edge, a level, a tape measure, and a pencil, two ladders, two pipe wrenches, and you'll need a friend because it is a two-man job. So the first thing we need to do is remove the old door fill the holes, and paint the area. Now to measure up so we can center the door on the opening. So if our doorway is 2440 and our door is 2490, then that means we need to mark an overlap of 25 mils on either side of the door. We also need to make sure that our door is going to sit level. So I'll put a straight edge between the pillars, keeping it level with the highest point of the floor. So with our rail on our mark at the bottom, we can use our spirit level on the side to make sure that the rail is straight, and then mark through the holes to drill. You can make a depth stop by putting some tape around the drill bit so you can easily see when you've drilled deep enough. Now we can fasten our rails and brackets to the wall. First put your expansion bolts in the holes and tighten them up to lock them in place. Then remove the bolts, place the rail in place, and bolt to the wall with the fender washers between the bolt and rail. Remember that the brackets go on the top of the rail with the flat side up. Now have your friend help you lift and hold the door in place on top of the brackets while you loosely fasten the U-bolts. Now remember not to cut the straps until the door is in place and leave your U-bolt slightly loose. Now turn the door to a point where the door can slide down the rails. Then firmly hold the door and ask your friend to cut the straps. Now carefully guide the door down the rails to the floor. Make sure the stoppers are pulled out. If not, the door will lift past the top of the rails and unwind. Now from the inside of the door, you'll need to wind up the shaft to put tension on the springs allowing the door to move up and down easily. Hold each side with a pipe wrench and turn one side at a time making sure the shaft doesn't unwind. Turn it in the direction that the shaft will move when lifting the door. Keep winding it up until the door starts to lift then hold the shaft in place while tightening the U-bolts. The door should now easily roll up and down. Next is to close the door and mark the location of the locking mechanism on the rail. Then open the door and create a slot. I like to drill a few smaller holes close together and then use them as pilot holes to drill larger ones. Then use the file to neaten up the slot. Now install the handle through the pre-drilled holes. And there we go, what a difference. Now remember everything I used here is available at Builders, in store or online at builders.co.za. And for more how-tos like this, visit the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.